Well, for more, as this huge trial begins, we can speak now to our international affairs commentator, Douglas Herbert, who is with me here in the studio. Doug, uh, as I was just saying, all eyes are on one man in particular out of these uh, 20 defendants who are on trial. That man is uh, Salah Abdeslam. This is someone who never actually went to Syria, but was nevertheless inspired by jihadists there. Absolutely. And you might say it's surprising. He's the only, let's just be clear, he's the only known survivor of the actual commando group uh, who perpetrated the attacks on uh, the, the Stade de France, on the bars and cafes, um, and on the Bataclan concert hall. Um, however, you're absolutely right. He, you know, all roads in this trial essentially lead back to ISIS. Uh, the, these were attacks which were masterminded essentially in Syria in Raqqa. Um, a lot of the those who participated in them or would or would be suicide uh, martyrs, as they call themselves, uh, all of them were sent from the Iraqo Syrian sort of uh, theater of operations during the time of the of the ISIS self proclaimed caliphate, which has since been decimated, as you know, territorially. They were sent from Syria. They all met up in Belgium. So there are a lot of defendants of varying nationalities here who came from all points, east, north, and south. Um, you know, you have a lot of Franco-Belgians. You have uh, uh, Franco-Moroccans who will be sitting in, in, the, bo in, in the booth there. Um, uh, Abdeslam is he's actually a French nationality, but he grew up and he was raised uh, in, in Belgium. And a lot of the people who were implicated in these attacks involved in them, he sort of knew them, uh, including uh, one of his long-time friends, Mohamed uh, Abrini, who will be in that defendant's box with him. Uh, li like you said, he never went to Syria. Of the six absentees, we keep saying that 20 defendants are on trial. Um, only 14 will be physically present. Six in absentia. Of those six, one is right now jailed in Turkey. Uh, and the five others are presumed uh, perhaps killed in Syria. But all of them hardened jihadists, according to uh, the prosecutors. And of those who are actually be sitting uh, in the defendant's box, physically present, six of those of those 14 uh, not only were in Syria, but they are have reputations of being hardened jihadists. This is why one of the main defenses, perhaps, uh, of Abdeslam, uh, Salah Abdeslam is that you know, he didn't end up blowing himself up. He, he sort of chickened out at the last minute. He decided not to do it. That's one of the things he said in the past. None of the others, uh, you know, except for Abrini, none of the others chickened out. They were in Syria. They were trained presumably there, uh, and they were hardened jihadists. So it's, it's look back to ISIS. All roads lead to Syria. Douglas Herbert, thank you uh, very much for 